Period 1. Activity 1. At the moment. Family. Go online. Grandma. Landline. Phone. Mrs. On the phone. Project. So. Word formation. Mr. Mrs. Describe the pictures on page 5. The girl is chatting on a mobile phone. The boy is using a computer. Their father is watching TV. Their mother is speaking on a landline phone. Period 1. Activity 3. 1. What do you know about Nadia and her family? They are from Palestine, but they're living in London now. 2. Who's Tina? She's Nadia's friend. 3. Is Nadia using her mobile or the family landline? She's using her mobile. 4. What is Nadia's mother doing in the kitchen? She's talking to Nadia's grandmother on the landline. Period 1. Activity 3 and Activity 4. Nadia's family are from Palestine, but they are living in London at the moment. Tina is her friend. Hello, Nadia speaking. Hi Nadia, it's Tina. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine too. Listen, we need to plan our school project. Right. But why are you calling my mobile? That's expensive. I tried your landline, but it was busy. Ah, yes. Mum's using the phone in the kitchen to call her mother. Grandma lives in Jenin, and they talk on the phone every week. Well, let's email each other. Sorry, but we can't at the moment. My brother Sammy is using the computer. He's chatting to his friends online. Oh no! Sammy always goes online in the evening. So, let's carry on with your mobile. Yes, but not here. Dad's watching the sport on TV. Ah, so are you moving to the next room? Yes, but guess what? Mum's finishing. So we can change to the landline. Great! Period 2. Activity 2 and Activity 4. 1. What's your history project about? It's about our town a hundred years ago. 2. What's Ali doing at the computer? He's going online to send an email. 3. This is a photo of Grandma. Is she your mother's mum or your father's? 4. Could you quickly email a family photo to me, please? Well, Huda is using the computer, so I can't. I'll send one later. 5. I'll call Marjida on her mobile. She's at home, so you can call her on the landline phone. 6. How big is the Carmel family? There are four of them. Mr. and Mrs. Carmel, Sammy, and Nadia. 7. Is Tarek watching TV at the moment? No, not now. He's on the phone with one of his friends. Three. 
read again and answer the questions. 1. What is Tina calling Nadia about? Shush is calling about the project. 2. How often does Nadia's mother call grandma? She calls every week. 3. What is Sammy doing? He's sending emails to his friends. 4. When does he always do this? He does that every evening. 5. Why does Nadia need to move to the next room? Because her father is watching TV. 6. Why does Tina say, great? Single quote question mark. Tina and Nadia are going to talk on the landline. 7. Why can they speak on the landline now? Because her mother is finishing her call. 8. What is going to happen next? Tina and Nadia are going to talk on the landline. 4. Work in pairs. Listen again and practice the conversation. No wand equals OT. Read sentences 1 to 6. Mum is using the phone in the kitchen now. Sammy is chatting to his friends online at the moment. They talk on the phone every week. Sammy always goes online in the evening. Sammy loves chatting to his friends online. Grandma lives in Janine. Nadia and her family are living in London at the moment. Period 3 Look at the sentences again. Add present simple or present continuous. Sentences 1 and 2 are about actions now or about now. The verbs are in the resent continuous. Sentences 3 and 4 are about actions that happen several or many times. The verbs are in the present simple. Sentences 5 and 6 are about things that always stay the same. Sentences 5 and 6 use the present simple. Sentence 7 is about something that stays the same for some time but not always. Sentence 7 uses the present continuous. Complete the sentences. Use the present simple or present continuous. Nadia's mum is speaking to grandma on the landline at the moment. And they giving. Each other their news. Speak, give. Nadia's mum calls her mother every week, and they always have lots to talk about. Call, have. Tina is on the phone. She talking to Nadia because they are doing a school project together. Talk, do. Sammy always meets his friends online in the evening, and they often chat about football. Meet, chat. Nadia's aunt lives with grandma in Janine, and she works there, too. Live, work. Nadia's dad is working in London now, and so his family is living with him there, too. Work, live. Walk in pairs. Talk about people you know. Ask and answer questions. Does your dad always watch the sport on TV? Yes, he often. No, any, doesn't, very often. When does he do that? He, usually, in the evening, on Friday. Is he at the moment? Yes, I think, he, is. No, he, isn't. I think, he's working, now. Channel Documentary Forecast Hurricane
information like such as nationality serious speed word formation fish fishing One. That car is going very fast. You're right. It's travelling at a very high speed. Two. I've never heard Samira laugh. Yes, she always looks very, very serious. Three. Look at that huge lake. It looks like the sea. Yes, and they say there are lots of fish. So let's go fishing. Four. You remember the great football player, Pelé? Do you know his nationality? Brazilian, I think. But you can find that kind of information on the internet. Five. I've heard that a huge hurricane is coming in our direction. Yes, and the latest weather forecast says the wind speeds will be very high. Six. There's going to be a TV documentary about Palestine at 7.30. Oh, I'd like to watch that. Which channel is it on? Period 4. Activity 4. Part 1. 1. Ali Maghrabi is from Morocco. 2. Ana Torres is from the USA. 3. Lynn and Mark Lomax are from Australia. 4. Samir and Hanan Kudzi are from Palestine. Part 2. Ali is Moroccan. Anna is American. Lynn and Mark are Australian. Samir and Hanan are Palestinian. One read their names and countries. Then listen and say them. Two find their countries on the map at the start of the book. Ali is from Morocco. Anna is from the USA. Lynn and Mark are from Australia. Samir and Hanan are from Palestine. Three find their nationalities under the map. Then listen and say them. Moroccan, American, Australian, Palestinian. Four find and say other nationalities that end with the letters tilde and or tilde Ian. Examples, Brazilian, Canadian, Indonesian, Jordanian. 5. Find examples of other nationality words. Say how they end. Examples, Kuwaiti, Lebanese, Greek, Turkish. Period 5 one look at pictures 1 to 4 on page 7 and texts AD below. Do these tasks. 1. Match the pictures and the texts. Look at the texts quickly to find the nationality words you need. 2. Say where the people in the pictures are from. Say their nationalities. 2. Read and mark the sentences true or false. 1. This week Young World is about the ways we communicate in today's world. True. 2. We know more about the weather than we did before we had satellites. True. 3. Mr. and Mrs. Kudzi think their children should watch cartoons, sports and serious programs, too. False. 4. Ali gives his mobile to his family when he goes fishing. False. 
Five Lins and Mark's mobiles are always busy because Mum and Dad are calling them more and more. False. Period 5. Activity 2 and Activity 3. Welcome to Young World. And this week, we're asking people of different nationalities how are modern communications changing our lives? There are lots of bad TV programs, but the weather forecasts are good. We get bad hurricanes here in America, and they're getting worse. But modern satellites are collecting better information on their speed and direction, and forecasts are getting better. So we understand hurricanes better now, and we now know when and where one will arrive. We get Palestinian TV and hundreds of other satellite channels too. Hanan and I love watching cartoons all day. That's bad, I know. But now, Mum and Dad say we can only watch serious programmes like documentaries. We think that's bad too. Like a lot of Moroccan people, my job is fishing and my mobile is very important in my work. It's expensive, but I can now call different markets from my boat. That means I can find the best market for my fish and take them there. My mobile is giving my family a better life. Australian farms are big and our parents like to stay in contact, so they've given us mobiles. But now we're calling and texting friends more and more and mum and dad are getting angry. They say we're always on the phone when they want to talk, and we shouldn't be. Oh, someone's calling now. Excuse me. Anna, USA, television, weather forecasts, lots of bad programs. To Samir and Hanan Kudzi, Palestine, TV, serious programs like documentaries, cartoons. 3 Ali, Morocco, mobile phones, gives his family a better life, can find the best. Market for his fish. Expensive. For Lynn and Mark Lomax, Australia, mobile phones, they can stay in contact, their mum and dad get angry because they're always on the phone. Or kin pairs. Ask and answer questions for Young World. Excuse me. Is your name Anna Torres? Yes, it is. And are you from the USA? Yes, I am. Tell me, how do you feel about TV? Well, one good thing is this, we can get good weather forecasts every day. What about bad things? Well, one bad thing is this, there's lots of terrible TV. Read again and answer the questions. 1. What is happening to hurricanes? They re-getting worse. 2. What is happening to weather forecasts, and why? They're getting better, because modern satellites collect better information. 3. Which do Samir and Hanan like cartoons or documentaries? They like cartoons. 4. What do their parents prefer? They prefer documentaries. 5. Does Ali always take his fish to the same market? No, he doesn't. 6. How is his mobile giving his family a better life? He can phone different markets and sell his fish in the best place. 7. Do Lynn and Mark live in a big town? No, they live on a farm. 8. Are they using their phones for the right thing? No, they're using them to text and call their friends. Work in pairs. Discuss good and bad things about. A television. And. 
B. Mobile phones. Use ideas from the passages, and your own ideas, too. Add again and find the opposites in the text. 1. Old. Young. 2. Answer, ing. Asking. 3. Ancient. Modern. 4. Better. Worse. 5. Leave. Arrive. 6. Funny. Serious. 7. Cheap. Expensive. 8. Never. Always. 2. Complete the following. Use pairs of opposites from Activity 1. Make any changes needed. 1. A. This documentary is good but it's very serious. I'm bored. B. We can change and watch some cartoons. They be funny. 2. A. What time do you leave home to go to school? B. At about 7.20, and I always arrive at school at about 7.45. 3. A. Rania wasn't very well yesterday. I hope she's feeling better today. B. No, she's getting worse, I'm sorry to say. She's very sick. 4. A. Your little brother isn't very old, is he? B. No. He's only 5. He's still very young. 5. A. I'd like to buy those shoes, but they're very expensive. B. But look at these ones. They're cheap and they're nice. Buy them. 6. A. Can I ask a question about computers, please? B. Well, I'll try to answer it, but I don't know much about computers. 7. A. News travels round the world very fast in the modern world. B. But in ancient times, news took months to travel a long way. 8. A. I hate wearing lots of things, so I never wear a coat. That's strange. I always wear a coat in winter. I hate being cold. Or kin pairs. Practice the conversations in Activity 2. Match the names and the kinds of TV program. Give more examples from Palestinian TV. 1. Tom and Jerry. B. Cartoon. 2. Football special. E. Sports program. 3. The World Tonight. F. The news. 4. Sing, sing, sing. C. Music program. 5. Batman flies again. A. Film. 6. The birds of Palestine. D. Documentary. Work in pairs. Ask and answer the questions. What kinds of programs do you like? Can you give some examples? What kinds of programs don't you like? Can you give some examples? One read the explanation. Remember that we always, or almost always, put some verbs in the present simple, not the present continuous examples jove like dislike hate no prefer mean need understand want we understand hurricanes better now
We now know when and where one will arrive. Find more examples in the text. To read the sentences. 1. The hurricanes are getting worse. 2. The forecasts are getting better. 3. Oh, someone is calling now. Excuse me. Look at the sentences. Tick. The best way to complete sentences 1 to 3. The verbs in 1 to 3 are al in the be present continuous. The verb tense in 1 and 2 means something is be changing over a longer time. The verb tense in 3 means something is the happening now. Read again. Find more sentences with the same verb tense, present continuous. Decide the meaning each time. A, happening now. B, changing over a longer time. This week we're asking. We're calling and texting friends more and more. My mobile is giving my family a better life. Mum and Dad are getting angry. Match and write sentences 1 to 3 and AC. Write the verbs in the correct form. Hurricanes are growing bigger. Wind speeds are growing, too. The number of mobile phones is rising. However, the number of landlines is falling. Computers are getting smaller. At the same time, they are getting faster. One write the verbs in brackets in the correct forms present simple or present continuous. Grandma. Tell me about Sammy. He was having some problems at school. Was he? Is he enjoying it more now? Mum. Yes, things are getting much better now. He liked life here in London. Grandma. What is he doing at the moment? Mum. He is sitting at the computer. This year, he's spending more and more time with that thing. Grandma. Does he go on Facebook every day like his cousins here in Palestine? They love doing that. Mum. Yes, he does, too, but he isn't doing that now. Grandma. Oh. So what is he doing now? Is he sending emails to people? Mum. Yes, he is. He always does not always use Facebook. He often writes emails, too. 2. Work in pairs. Act out the conversation in activity 1. 3. Write the conversation. Use the correct tense of the verbs. Grandma. Nadia, often email, friends, too. 1. Does Nadia often email her friends? 2. Mum. No, she, do not. Prefer, to call them. 2. No, she doesn't. She prefers to call them. She talked to a friend on mobile in living room now. 3. She is talking to a friend on her mobile in the living room now. Grandma. She always phone people, her mobile even home. 4. Does she always phone people on her mobile even at home? Mum. No, she, usually, talk, on this phone, home. 5. No, she usually talks on this phone at home. But she can't do that now because I, use, it. 6. But she can't do that now because I am using it. 4. Work in pairs. 
Act out the conversation in Activity 3. Period 10. Activity 1 and Activity 2. Part 1. Hello. Sammy Carmel speaking. Hi, Sammy. It's Mike. Listen, we need to talk about our school project on Jerusalem. You're right. Time is getting short. Yes. Let's make a plan. Part 2. Fine. So where do we start? Is there anything about Jerusalem on TV? Yes. There's a documentary about Jerusalem tomorrow. Great! When is it on? It's on at 11.30 in the morning. And I'm going to watch it. It's on for an hour. Have you got time to watch it too? Yes. So the two of us are going to watch that. And it's on at 11.30 tomorrow morning. Good. And I've got cousins in Jerusalem. I can send an email and ask them for some information. I'll do that tomorrow, just after I finish watching the documentary, at one o'clock. OK. So you're going to send an email, and you're going to do that at one o'clock tomorrow? Right. And I can borrow some books from my uncle. He's got thousands of books about all kinds of things. And I'm going with my family to see him on Sunday evening. Good. So you're going to borrow some books from your uncle. And you're going to do that on Sunday evening. That's right. And we can get information from the internet, too. You can do that. And I can do the same thing, too. And we can do that at any time. Yes. So the two of us are going to get information from the internet. And we can do that tomorrow, or on Sunday, or at any time. That's it. And then we need to meet and share our information. Well, I'm busy on Monday after school, so let's meet after school on Tuesday. Fine. So we're going to meet and share our information on Tuesday afternoon. That's it. Good. So now we've got a plan. Period 10. Activity 3. 1. Speaking. Plan. Project. 2. Sport. Speak. Spell. Spend. Place. Please. Play. Plastic. Program. Prefer. Present. Promise. Three. Let's plan the sports program. Please promise to speak to the project leader.
Period 11. Activity 2. 1. In the evening, I often email my friends. 2. We always watch the news on TV. 3. Hanan is talking to her cousin on the phone in the kitchen at the moment.